All right, it's been a while since I uploaded some stuff. Uh, I got off on a tangent with doing bots and uh, playing games. And uh, one thing, game I was kind of interested in is uh, Slither.io. So I play this game on and off, uh, and it can get, you know, real irritating. So uh, what I do, what I did is I found a couple of people online that uh, Clarity Coders and uh, the real GM, which the majority of this code is based off of, uh, I'm doing a Windows 10 port, and um, let me let it rip uh, real quick. I'm using Visual Studio Code. All right, so what's going to happen is the window is going to pop open. Now, I'm moving the mouse right now, and uh, I'm going to type this in, and I'm going to hit play. And what will happen is, is the, uh, there's a minor bug i got to fix where the it won't take over the mouse. Um, you'll see a couple other windows here uh, to where we're doing the scanning. Um, and uh, I'll go over in that in a little bit. I guess I can move him around. It won't, won't kill anything. Once he dies, the app will take over and it'll move the mouse and it'll play the game again. Now what it's doing is it's randomly doing mouse clicks in the window. And you can see these two other little windows up to the top. Uh, one of them, uh, one of the windows is checking to see if uh, the game has finished and the second little window down below is kind of doing the same thing uh, uh, to where it knows to restart. So this little guy I'll run around uh, and just randomly, it, he has no concept of what's around him. He doesn't know what these dots are yet. And that's the code I'm starting to slowly but surely uh, put together. So the window that says food, so there you go, he died. So now it'll, it just rips again. And there you go. So th this thing could just kind of run forever, and that's why I'm posting this video. Uh, the original uh, real GM guy uh, was r doing this code on a Mac. So he was using some Mac, um, you know, m mouse uh, uh, libraries that didn't work on Windows 10, I changed that, uh, and then I started incorporating some of the Clarity Coder uh, uh, code uh, to get this this food window, which is actually a Hue OpenCV Hue Circles. So um, that is eventually going to be uh, pushed into either a neural network, you know, CNN, something like that uh, later on. But uh, one of the simplest algorithms I want to try to do is just uh, have the understanding that there is uh, go towards the food and uh, get into a little bit of what they call in robotics a move plan. Uh, and uh, once, obviously, instead of randomly going around, he's going to, I say he the, or she, it, the worm, is going to try to uh, increase uh, its food consumption and get longer and longer. Uh, the other thing you'll notice in the window is there's a little mini-map down on the lower right-hand side. I want to try to grab that as well and then run it through an algorithm uh, and process the image like this huge circle and then figure out where the where we're headed so we can tell the worm uh, you know you're not going in the right direction and you're eventually going to run off the screen so it's pretty um, it's pretty interesting right now 
uh, just with the you know the random movement, but I can uh, envision several different types of uh, you know strategies or you know whatever you want to call them uh, to where it, the worm eventually goes into different modes, uh, you know, like a survival mode. And, uh, you know, for instance, there was a bunch of food right there and, you know, it doesn't know anything about it. So uh, one thing that you, if you do get this code working, uh, is that, you know, it has, you know, taken over the mouse. So that's a little bit irritating. I want to try to figure out how to uh, press a key or do something to get, you know, the game to stop. And uh, that's probably relatively simple. So I've made a bunch of progress with this, even though it's these other people's code. Uh, their, their code didn't necessarily work. So um, and it may not necessarily work for you. Uh, if you pull it down, and I'll have the, the GitHub, I've uh, pushed it up to GitHub. So, um, and I say that because you, depending on the size of your screen, uh, the these little top windows um, that are looking for the, uh, if the game is over and the, the playing button, um, you know, play again button, appears uh, you have to kind of tune that tune those variables and that was kind of frustrating as well and the, the person didn't get out go over that so anyway this is uh, I'll blast through the code real quick uh, this is the first video of maybe of this series and um, I just wanted to go over it and look he just killed somebody but he doesn't know to go back and you know he doesn't know what that means. <clears throat> so now what I, again, uh, I'm going to post the, the link. And um, if people are interested in this and can get it working, and I don't get barraged with people that can't get it working. Um, I'll do several different you know iterations on it. Uh, but right now what I do is, is I'll pull open uh, the... Uh, make sure you know alt tab and then i do an alt f4 and that will see that will kill well i lucked out that time and that will uh kill the app give me a chance to get over and kill the app so uh and further ado there's several different files in here uh wish you would okay i don't know why it's doing that Visual Studio Code does some idiotic things, but uh, so the main file uh, is just kind of the driver, and then there is a utils that has the majority of the uh, functions uh, that you can look at. Uh, one thing you will have to do, and I'll go over this on the video, but you can just do a search for, you know, Tesseract OCR executable. They seem to have changed, again, how, you know, the Python Tesseract works. So I had to find this executable, which you can do, find it on SourceForge. And then uh, I think it, uh, if I recall, I had to install it and then it puts it in a certain area you have to go find it and then you have to tell python you know the tesseract pi where it exists if you don't do this uh the code probably won't the code isn't going to work okay so uh there's a bunch of you know pi out of gui cv you know open cv um you're just uh, gonna have to try to kind of struggle a little bit on getting that stuff installed uh, and maybe I can go over some of that uh, let's see yeah the selenium uh, selenium web driver that's also another thing that you have to download and I will try to go over that again um, which was kind of a pain uh, to to get the chrome web driver uh, 
uh, installed, but I can go over that later on. So uh, let's see, a bunch of comment, yeah, utility functions. Uh, we kind of got some hard coded uh, where the play buttons are, things like that. Uh, I reworked this mouse controller because the guy's code wouldn't run on uh, my PC. And there's a couple of uh, pieces of dead code. The screenshot gets used quite a bit. And uh, let's see, that's interesting. Yeah, get scores not even getting called yet. Uh, probably need to maybe bring that bring that back in. So I pushed a lot of the this code into this utility file. Uh, here's generate data, which doesn't do anything. Uh, because I wanted to fly back and forth in, inside of the, the main. So we have the is dead, and uh, I'm, that's, that's what opens up one of the little windows. And um, let's see, is this thing even working? Well, yeah, I mean, this little piece right here goes to the screen. This happens to work, um, but there are some other weird things. For instance, play again when you use Tesseract, uh, it doesn't say play again, it, it, it says this string, but it does it on a consistent basis. Now there is something in OpenCV with template matching, and I might uh, look at that, but that template matching is brittle as well, as well where you use a bitmap, and it's got to be perfect and or perfectly lined up. Uh, and I might replace the Tesseract stuff with that, or maybe we'll do a little machine learning model in here that can figure it out. Uh, is play, I think that was, um, yeah, the, the play string comes at back funny. Those are the little tweaks I had to do. So uh, here's the show food, which is just, hey, take a you know, screenshot, and then we process it with the uh, canny uh, image which is in uh, another uh, another file in here, uh, and that turns it into uh, the the black and light with uh, white with the lines, which is helpful. So here's the main. We open up the window. We sleep a, a little bit, uh, and then uh, we go through and we just do this big while loop. And this is where it this stuff wouldn't work on my machine. Um, until I put it in a while loop and I think on the max the threading something's different so this guy's code on the website or the, the YouTube uh, won't necessarily work I would strongly uh, suggest using uh, Vis Visual Studio Code or the you know or just run it from the command line but uh, anyway, we just kind of are going through this loop. I've got to get this is playing thing working right. Uh, we wait so many milliseconds uh, before we decide to change direction. And it's just, uh, it's just this random thing. Uh, also, I, uh, you see the, this move to. Uh, he had a move function, but it was really move relative, and it was freaking the mouse out. And driving me insane. Here's the uh, the Q key, but for some uh, reason, oh, see that says yeah, that says break, but it doesn't seem to do it. So uh, it just goes in this loop, and as soon as it it figures out it's dead because that skin string showed up, and it sees this play again button, uh, then it goes through and. Uh, moves the mouse and uh, does a click so uh, it seems to work the majority of the time and uh, you know that's what kind of made me happy so um, the other thing that I'm looking at right now that I just finished uh, let's see okay so the this connect points th thing I modified. Uh, I got another example off of uh, the the you know GitHub. So this is kind of a move plan, okay? And as you can see, it's going all over the place. And you can see this is just a screenshot, uh, but 
it, it went through the uh, this uh, candy process to turn it into black and white, and it dilated, and then it put, then I I merged it with another algorithm that will go through and um, uh, map out some points. So this is the next thing I'm going to try to get in there, which is telling the little guy, you know, hey, you need to go to this point, you need to go to this point, you need to go to this point. Now I might. I might try to limit this and obviously there's going to have to be code to determine whether he got to the particular point and then obviously if another uh, if another uh, worm comes in uh, you might have to abort the move plan uh, you know things like that so uh, and and go into uh, a different you know mode one is wandering you know trying to pick up food and then the other one is, you know, trying to duck for cover uh, and things like that. So anyway, uh, it's been a long time. Uh, I'm not giving up on the, the metahumans. Uh, it's just that the next thing I have to do with metahumans is as far as puppetry and sequencing of uh, data and things like that. It's uh, it's over. It's overwhelming me right now. So. I've been thinking about it. Uh, I do have some other examples. Uh, plus, I might do some Halloween stuff uh, videos. I might resurrect that. So uh, in the future, I'm going to try to do two, uh, two or three different types of projects. Some of them are real simple or relatively simple, like the Slither.io. It'd really be fun to make uh, a really nasty Slither.io bot. Uh, and then the other thing is... Um, you know, the I want to bring in the machine learning for some uh, little uh, simple uh, autonomous driving, uh, and that is a the uh, a way back project I did about a year ago, uh, where I was grabbing the screen and sending it sending it to um, you know Python and uh, you know detecting people and things like that. So. So that really doesn't have anything to do with metahumans, but the code is pretty much, it's close to the same, except we're not streaming out, you know, video. So anyway, that's my ramble uh, for right now. And um, again, I've got a full-time job as a software engineer. Uh, so I do this stuff part-time, but I wanted to get something out that people could get their teeth in. And I also want to see if there's going to be any traction on the you know the interest on the videos as you can see uh, the last person um, it, you know this guy's getting a hundred you know and thirty thousand views since September 2021 uh, and his code is very interesting but um, you know the that's what kind of got me interested in the bots uh, because if, if people are that interested in them um, then uh, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, I, I want to try to do the, the YouTube full time or semi full time. So uh, I've got to try to get some time and money in. Anyway, that's it. Um, I'll be posting this shortly. This does have the GitHub and I'll be uh, probably pushing stuff up to GitHub on a regular uh, basis. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, talk to you later. Bye.